Hi, I'm Nick Jensen, aka Nick Brook, and what I have here is the Kvostov 7G0X uh, exotic rifle from Destiny. The reason I chose to build this as uh, my take on a modern weapon is because there's a bit of a backstory to this weapon in the game. Um, the Kvostov, the original one, not the exotic one, is your first weapon that you find in the game, and it's essentially like an AR-15, but uh, with a cracked uh, gun sight. And I wanted to uh, recreate that, but uh, just as Bungie did, they recreated the weapon as an exotic to throw back to uh, your first weapon. And that's pretty much why I decided to build it, because it has an interesting backstory to it. <laughs> but it's also a really cool looking weapon here, so if you want to take us through kind of the different parts of it. Uh, for sure. So we got the sight here, but it's uh, removable, and you can swap it out for a clean, not cracked sight, kind of like that. And additionally, we have all the, the working functions that are in Destiny, not necessarily of the actual rifle. So we have the removable magazine and has a bullet on top. Um, also has a working trigger and a working charging handle, which I'll demonstrate when I get this mag back in. <laughs> there you go. And uh, got the working trigger. And on the other side, we got this charging handle. If it was the actual AR-15, you'd probably pull back on that, or if you already loaded in bullets, you would uh, just uh, hit the bolt catch. But for Destiny, for the sake of uh, having consistent reloads, they just use the charging handle right here. Mm -hmm. And it's also fairly sturdy. I use a technique of uh, lots of uh, 1x2, 2x2 brackets throughout the rifle held together by plates or different bricks. So. There's a lot of sideways bricks, and not only does it get you more detail, but it holds it together uh, really well with as minimal sag and uh, without much worry of handing it off to someone else, and they won't break it. It looks like it looks very strong. You talk about it here, it looks like we've got a lot of plates and small pieces stacked here. Is that how, how did that work? Um, I decided to uh, go for like a bit of a wood grain on this. this Part of why I decided to build this uh, particular one instead of the first one you find in Destiny, because I like the the wood grain. I wanted to try to achieve that with two different shades of brown and uh, plates, so that you get like the thin uh, grain going down. And it's a little bit. Um, it's not as uh, detailed in the front grip, but you still see a little bit of the dark brown in the front mixed in with regular reddish brown. With a weapon like this, when you're you're looking at screenshots from the game and stuff like that, and the source material, where do you start building, and how does it kind of come together? Typically, I start with whatever would be the most difficult to build, and if you can figure out how the most difficult part can be made, everything else should uh, be easier from there. Okay. Um, on this, I can't remember exactly where I started, though, to be honest, but. Uh, yeah, the whole thing proved a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be, but it all came together in the end. Mm -hmm. For this particular model, um, Bungie releases uh, 3D models of the weapons in their app and also on their website. So I was able to turn it around and see it from uh, different angles. And since it's also based on an actual weapon, I got actual dimensions to work off of. I just scaled the whole thing to the lower receiver of uh, AR-15 or uh, M4, any of those kinds of weapons. Mm -hmm. So this should be close to the actual size you would uh, if you were to actually find this weapon in real life. Yeah, I think it turned out really great. And so here we're at that kind of gamer lug display right here, and there's a lot of awesome weapons on display. When you display stuff like this, what is people's sort of typical reaction? Is there a range of reactions? Obviously, it's from a video game, so you people recognize it from that. Uh, do you have people saying like, oh, why are you making guns with Lego and things like that? What, what kind of reactions do you get? It's, it's just what I like to build. I've okay. always been a fan of gaming, and I'm not particularly uh, a fan of like violence or any of that, but uh, I can separate that from uh, the fiction and like the, the gaming, the competitiveness of gaming. I, it's just from a love of gaming. There you go. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you showing us this build. It's really great. Thank you.